to uh, today's edition of DC Today. Uh, Brian Seitel here with you today and what was basically an up day uh, the entire day. So some, some good news to report. Uh, futures last night were, were flat, They're not, not much going on really. And so I wasn't expecting this coming into the, the market today, but um, we had a nice day. We we're closed up 366 points on the Dow. Bonds rallied a little too. Rates were lower pretty much across the curve. Tenure was down a basis point on the day, but still in that sort of 379, 375, 379 range, which is good. There was um, retail sales was, was the largest um, economic data point out on the day. It was actually lower than expected. We got a 0.2% increase uh, for the month of June versus a 0.6%, which is what was expected. So quite a bit lower um, on consumer spending and retail sales. May, though, was revised up about 15 minutes later from uh, 0.3 to 0.5. Markets actually rallied after the news. It's just sort of porridge is just right type of thing, at least on the consumer, which is the strength in the economy, um, where it's it, you know still spending, still expanding, but maybe at a little slower pace, which gives more of the narrative to this sort of soft landing camp that they've been able to raise rates and, and not have the economy fall out of bed. And, and not only not fall out of bed, but but the economy is hanging in there. And I think as more time goes on, you're just sort of seeing that, you know, this recession, you know, shoot a drop just isn't isn't happening. So you've got uh, markets that have moved higher. We're now 27 percent, at least on the S&P, we're 27 percent off of the low in October, which is a big move. And it's handily into bull market territory, at least on stocks. I could argue that you know a lot of that move has been with 10 of the largest technology companies driving most of it. Um, so there's that part of it as well. But um, but you know it's, you can't deny what it is is that markets have moved higher and, and people are feeling better about interest rates starting to peak out a little bit. And we saw more of that today. One one of the effects of having interest rates come down. Terminal Fed policy looked like it's going to be uh, sometime next week. You know, they're going to sort of raise rates next week and then sort of be done with it. Um, is that the dollar has traded quite a bit lower? It's down about two percent the last week, and is at a 15-month low. And so, what was a bit of a uh, headwind? Obviously, we want a strong currency in this country. That, that's not what I'm saying. That it's it's a good, you know, that bad news is good news with the weakening dollar. But technically, the, the strength in the dollar was uh, a bit of a headwind in earnings, at least on exporting con uh, uh, companies. And that's likely to be the opposite in the second half of the year. So you've got a weakening currency. Um, the widgets or things that we sell overseas become more attractive, become less expensive. And we saw more of them. Um, you, you could see that in the second half of the year. The other thing I pointed out is that it wouldn't shock me if you had a, a declining U.S. dollar benefit some of the emerging market economies. We've seen China slow, um, and and so those stocks have still remained a tough tough spot. But I, I have a feeling that you'll get a little bit of a of, of a tailwind with uh, a weakening U.S. Uh, currency. Some top news: Goldman actually was out today, speaking of my resiliency theme uh, on the consumer, and said there's now only a 20% chance of of a U.S. recession. So take that for what it's worth. But um, all things considered equal, there's more and more in the camp of, of soft landing and or positive in the economy and in markets than there was before. Um, earnings are now just starting to come out. We're, I think, maybe something like 8% of companies in the S&P have reported. So just the first part of earnings season. As time goes on each day, more and more companies will report. But a lot of the banks have reported. So call it Citi, JPM, B of A, Morgan, you know, all these companies have come out and reported. And there's a, there is a common theme in most of their reports, which is the consumer. They're basically citing resiliency in the consumer. And so whatever, you know, negative they have, in, at least in bank land, um, with net interest margins being impacted by an inverted yield curve, it's just offset by uh, the strong consumer, which, which I'll take as a positive. Um, uh, high yield bond spreads, which is another metric that I look at, that we look at quite a bit as far as how markets are feeling. Um, and, uh, um, uh, you know, you know if, if, if there's confidence there and, and if default risk is perceived to be low, if credit risk is perceived to be low, then, um, then that's a good thing. Right now, high yield bond spreads are at 380 wide, meaning 
there's a 380 basis point spread over a risk-free rate and what you'd get in a junk bond, <clears throat> which um, is low. It's low historically, and it's definitely low this part of the cycle. And for those still looking at a, a sort of sign of recession, that's definitely not speaking to that. Um, it's speaking to the opposite of that. There was uh, some numbers today, again, in home builder uh, numbers, home builder confidence ticked up again. Uh, this is the seventh straight month in a row that you've had an increase in home builder confidence, um, which is, you know, quite quite uh, remarkable, really, when you think about interest rates having gone from, call it in the low threes to either the high sixes or low sevens in mortgage rates, that that uh, part of the market has been again resilient as well. Um, so all in all, uh, not a lot of negative to report on the day. This was a pretty much up day. We closed basically at the highs on the day in stocks. Um, so I'll take that for what it is. Um, and with that, I'll, I'll kind of leave, uh, leave it to you to, to enjoy your evenings. Um, thank you for reading and listening. Uh, my colleague Trevor Cummings will be out on DC Today with you tomorrow. And, um, and I wish you all a great rest of your week. Reach out with questions. Thank you. Mm-hmm.